Are you able to follow instructions in responsibility? Can you follow the instructions? Can you read the instructions? Can you follow direction verbally? Um, can you follow those? If somebody lays out the instructions for you, are you responsible enough to take those instructions and not feel like, you know what? Yeah, they told me to do this, but uh, I feel like I have a better way and, um, you know, I'm going to be saving some time. Plus, I might be feeling a little bit lazy. And why don't they just do it this way over here? Well, you know what? Other people have probably done whatever it is that you've been instructed to do before. And the instructions are there because that's the way that it works. Best. Tried and true. Okay, take it like this. All right, so you eat a piece of cake and it's the best cake that you've ever had. Matter of fact, Gordon Ramsay made it for you. And you're like, wow, that's an awesome cake. Or, and so Gordon Ramsay gives you the recipe. You want to create the recipe. So you got your bowl, you're adding the flour. Uh, maybe there's some sugar and, you know, everything that goes into the recipe that you read. And then that's the instructions. And then you got your bunt pan and you got your oven preheated to 400. And it says uh, 40 minutes or whatever that is. Well, it would. I don't think you'd bake a cake at 400 for 40 minutes, but you get what I'm saying. You follow the the instructions. And you're like, well, I want cake right now, so I'm gonna jack up the time or jack up the heat and cook this sucker at 750 for uh, 15 minutes. You're not gonna have the same cake. It doesn't work like that. You know, speeding up the process or heating things up or speeding it up doesn't make the result the same. So follow, following, uh, following the instructions is super key and important in responsibility because you're going to eat the awesome cake when you follow the instructions.